Hi everyone and welcome to the tutorial on the main interface. So this tutorial is going to be a brief introduction of what you see when you open JMARS. On your left hand side is your layer manager. There's actually another tutorial that goes over everything that is in this area. If you look in the bottom left hand corner, it says Ocentric. These are your coordinate points and Ocentric coordinates. As you move your mouse around, you'll see that those coordinates change. So those coordinates are actually your mouse coordinates. When you first open JMARS, you're located at 0, 0. If you want to move around quickly, an easy way to do that is by coming up to your lawn lot area and changing the coordinates and pressing enter. And then you'll relocate. The third area of coordinates is at the bottom of the screen. You'll see it still says 0, 0. This is actually your projection and where you're centered for your projection. JMARS uses an oblique cylindrical projection. When you first open JMARS, it will be located at 0, 0. Now, if you wanted to change that, we're going to go up to the pole, and you'll see our projection is still in the oblique cylindrical. If you wanted to reproject, you can press Control R on a Windows or Command R on a Mac, or you can come up to your menu bar and say Recenter Projection. Now you'll see it recentered at the pole, and now our projection center has changed. The menu bar has very useful things inside it as well. You can save layers and load layers and export images. We'll go over some of those in another tutorial. In your view, you can change different things as well. You can add your panel view back. You can bookmark places. You can even select a different body. Here are all the different bodies that JMARS has. And if you wanted to go to a different body, you just click on it. Here are shortcut keys and tools. The options is a good area because you can change a few different things. You can change your lat coordinates from being lat long to long lat. You can change your coordinate view from 0 to 360, minus 180, 180, etc. You can even change your ocentric coordinate points to O-graphic coordinate points. O-graphic is usually very common in earthbound systems, less common on other bodies. You can even change the UI theme. So right now I'm on dark mode. But if you don't want your window to be dark and have the gray dark background, you can actually change it and it'll go to a light mode. Help is a really good area to go to because you can check for updates. And if you're having a problem, you can actually report a problem that will go directly to the JMOS team. On the upper right hand corner is the toolbar and the zoom drop down list. The zoom drop down list is in PPD, pixels per degree. If you're interested in the toolbar and how to use some of these tools, you can visit the toolbar tutorial. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for joining me.